Welcome, guys. Hey, guys. So, welcome to this new type of episode,、uh, yeah. which is Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> so, why is it Showtime?、Uh, we are g o n n a talk about everything we liked、uh, during this past few months, few weeks, few months, whatever. Few weeks, months, yeah. Yeah.、Uh, like music,、uh, movies, recipes, books, everything. So, we will do this type of episode like when we need, when we will need. Yeah, like basically, I don't know, maybe once a month. Yeah. And, you know, it's not because we talk about books today that we are going to talk about books next time. Yeah.、Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah,、Stop、basically.、Me. It's a concept that we wanted to try because usually our podcast is about serious topics and it's just like something、mm. to, you know, have fun. Yes, just share. Yeah.、Uh, so you can discover some new artists or, you know, books,、uh, movies, everything. Exactly.、Okay. And you can share your favorites with us thanks to the hashtag WUD. Or. By sending messages on our anchor website. Of course. And so I think it's, that's it. Let's、okay. start. Let's start. So, musically speaking, Leslie,、mm-hmm. tell us everything. I know that you have plenty of things to share. So,、um, go, go, go. So, you know that I love Billie Eilish in the weekend that I should have seen during. His concert is in Paris, but if you heard about Corona, you know that.、Uh, Has it... been cancelled. Exactly.、Uh, anyways, I also like Love Khalid, but you know, everyone knows them, so I will just let you know my favorite singles、uh, from 2020. Okay.、Um, so I recently discovered Ma- Matteo Romano's song. Called, whoa, that is in <laughs> Concede Me. It's in it's Italian. Yeah. So, I can't yeah. help you with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Italian. So I think it's a good start to、yeah. listen to、uh, Italian singers.、Um, I also listen to Sweet and Sour by Love and、okay. Josh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know his name. Josh、uh, 685. Yeah. Uh, the same, I think he, he did、um, the Savage Love song. song. Yeah. And so he did Sweet and Sore with Love. And I also listened Born Tired by、uh, Jenny Aiko because, you know, I'm born tired. So. <laughs> <laughs>、ah, born tired. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you? What are your. What do you recommend to our listener? Okay, so I've been into K pop and C pop recently.、Mm. And I would say that also Latin music,、mm. but that's another thing, you know. So in K pop, my favorite group has to be NCT. Like it's been a year and I can't stop to listen to their song. Their song, sorry. And they are super versatile. Like, I really like that because they don't stick to one, one kind of music, you know? You have everything. So just try, guys, please. And also, C pop. I don't think ma- a lot of people know s about C pop. It's basically Chinese pop. Maybe it's not you know, common in European countries. Yeah. So, it's not like K pop. Not at all, actually.、So. So, my favorite singer is okay, Eric Cho. I don't know how to say that in English because <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't usually... help you. <laughs> <laughs> And basically, he, he, song, he, song, he sings sorry, some ballads and also some up a bit songs, I guess. So, that's, that's cool. And one of my favorite songs about him is how do you, okay. It is something about LA. Yeah, something about LA is really cool. So maybe you can listen to it, Leslie, because I know、yeah. that you, you like LA 
She's a California, a California girl, I guess. <laughs> What about、right. Netflix? Well, you know I love Netflix. Okay, guys, you have to know one thing. Leslie is all about Netflix every time. I'm like, oh, what are you watching? She's like, oh, I just finished、uh, this series on Netflix. This is super great.、Uh, I recommend it to you. Like, she's every time on <laughs> Netflix, and I'm here struggling to finish one series. Yes, but、um, so I did watch Netflix a lot because, especially of the two lockdowns. Well, the first one was more. How can I say productive for Netflix?、Um, but、uh, <laughs> not even for work for Netflix. <laughs>、um, so I wanted to watch、uh, everything, of course.、Um, so there is many, there are many series that I watched, but you know there are pretty famous.、Uh, so here is series or movies, whatever. They are pretty famous because you know it's it's.、Um, When Netflix、uh, present, yeah,、uh, their on the、uh, yeah. watch later and something like exactly. that. Exactly. So, <laughs> I think if there is one movie I should recommend, it's The Trial of Chicago Seven that I recommend Alex and you haven't I, watched it. <laughs> yeah, I know it because we just work on this subject like thirty minutes, minutes ago, and you don't have this. Yeah, yeah, the references I know. Yeah. So, it, what is it? What is it about? Well, basically, it's a trial、uh, of a peaceful demonstration that degenerated into a violent fight with the police. So, the story takes place in the United States during the Vietnam War, and it was very interesting because I was able to link the events of、uh, the movie with. Um, those I studied at university for my、mm. U.S. civilization course.、Um, so as I said, I also watched a billion of series <laughs> during this year, <laughs> and most of them are pretty famous, such as、uh, Prison Break, Friends, How to Get Away with Murder.、Uh, in Spanish,、uh, there is Las Chicas del Cable. And so on, but there is a series that I want to talk about, and it's called Unbelievable.、Um, it's the story of a teenage girl who declare who declares sorry to have been raped. Then she says that she lied because you know the police officers do not believe her due the different versions that she told.、Mm. Well, actually, you know she just repeats. The the actions, but not in the same order. Exactly. So you know, police officer were like, "Are you lying?" And so she decided to, to say that she lied. But because she said that she lied about rape,、uh, her life is turned upside down, and no one believes her. So I will not spoil everything, but、uh, I think it's quite good. It's quite good. Sorry, there are only eight episodes, so it's really fast、yeah. and well acted. And you know, it's that's it's, just a series to pass time, I guess. Yes, like and you're like angry all the time <laughs> because <laughs>、like、because I didn't say it, but I think yeah, it's it's quite shocking. But because it what it was it was based on a true story. Okay. So yeah, so you know, that's you know it's a true、bad. story, and even if it's not, you know that it can happen.、Mm. So that's it. What about you, Alex? <laughs> okay, so I don't have a lot to say about Netflix. Okay, so the politician has to be one of my favorite series、yeah. because、uh, I like I like how politics work.、Mm. So basically, it is a Siri, based in high school, and there is one guy he wants to be the president, you know. And then there is two season. In, on the first season, it is based on the high school one, and then the second one, he is running for president, like the real thing, you know. And we can see all the back, the background, how、mm. he prepares 
the meeting. And I really like that about this series. And also the actor is Ben Platt and I love Ben mm -hmm. Platt so much because I'm, I'm into musicals guys. And he did a musical called Dear, Dear Heaven Johnson and something like that. Dear, I don't know. <laughs> someone help me, please. <laughs> dear, 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 even I don't know. Anyway, you just have to search Ben Platt and you will you will find it. So, yeah, for Netflix. And then I'm currently watching something called. I don't know. I don't even. Okay, you what? can't remember the name. Was it love? No, I can't remember the name. I don't know. <laughs> But it's basically a Chinese drama, so yeah, go watch it, guys. There is not a lot, a lot of, a lot of Chinese dramas, so if you if you want to learn Chinese, this is a great way to do it. Can we talk? You know, can we talk about YouTube channels? Then I have a lot of a lot to say. Ah, uh, yeah, no, because you're more a YouTube person than yeah. a Netflix one. So I'm, I'm the like Netflix one. You are a YouTuber. the YouTube one. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> talking about YouTube. <laughs> I love the channel of Oh No Nina. This is the the name. I know it's weird, but Oh No Nina. And I've been binge watching her videos. It's super chill, super casual. She she does makeup. She does vlogs. You know, and basically, you know, it is it is something calming, and you can just put it in the background and do your stuff. And the one that I discovered this summer is Linda Sun. And I love, I love her channel. It's about workout. It's about eating. It's about <laughs> living a happy life. You know, she's your friend basically. And I don't know, there is something special about her. And also she, she talks about her family. She has a dog and you know, it's really, family friend friendly it's super cool so go watch her please <laughs> what about <laughs> you leslie first one uh will probably be well everyone knows that knows her sorry but um alivia dandrea yeah alivia. Uh, i don't know how to pronounce her last name yeah Dandrea. sorry about that but i sorry. like her uh <laughs> i like her like the way of she thinking, she the thinks. She, the way she thinks, said. yeah. <laughs> yeah, she thinks. Um, because, you know, uh, she record her glow up diaries. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that, you know, because most of the YouTube videos about glow up, is like, how did I glow up in three hours? You can't glow up in, in three, three hours. hours. That's you know, impossible. You just make up. That's it. Uh, and I like the fact that she struggled mm. to do something like um, accepting herself. Yeah, exactly. Like accepting that uh, she wants to change. She, you know, and define what's what things specifically. Mm -hmm. um, she struggled sometimes to practice. Yeah. And I like the fact that she record her glow up diaries i think it was during a year yeah so, a year so it's really a glow up you know it's mm. mentally physically everything and i like okay i watched her entire glow up diary season I one did too. <laughs> and i like the fact that every time she drink she drinks sorry uh she just said like drink drink too you know like yeah, you have to take a sip yeah. of your water. And she always did that. Do does that. Oh my god. Drink struggled. water, guys. It is important. Stay hydrated. Yes. And the second one is Anjaded Jade. Uh she's famous too, but I really like her because okay, she's probably my favorite YouTuber because she studies in different countries. And I love the way she presents her videos and her way, and her way of thinking. Um, she spreads positive vibes and, you know, she talks to us like we were friends. Mm -hmm. And she, I like the way she 
she how to know how to say that she she express she expresses her ideas mm -hmm. um she's also vegan crazy about travel loves learning new things outside of university uh she's like the typical cousin sister friend i want to have <laughs> <laughs> her so jade that's... jade yep i remember her let's talk about recipe right now i guess because you like eats i like to eat so much i yeah. like so okay i have an addiction to banana baked oats <laughs> and i can't stop to eat that yeah. because it's been like i don't know two weeks one week yeah, one week she sends, she sends me pictures of it like, all the time yeah. so i'm going to give you the recipe guys okay Take a pen and a paper, okay? So you need three ingredients, like four, I guess. One banana, 68 grams of oats flour, any plant-based milk, and one tablespoon of baking soda. That's it. That's it. And you blend everything in. You put it in the oven for 15 minutes and 100 at 190 degrees. Celsius degree and then you're good to go enjoy <laughs> enjoy <laughs> well uh, I don't have any specific recipes but I'm trying to cook vegan or at least vegetarian because I am you know <laughs> so sometimes it's a really hard challenge but it's really fun and you know you discover new new recipes because new, yeah new vegetables too yeah yeah too so um, I just have to say something about book. I know, Alex, you, you I don't, don't have, have any. Yeah. Actually, I don't have any books to recommend. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah. The, the last book I read was for my Chinese class. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did have, I do have one book, which is called The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. Bam, bam, uh, bam. <laughs> it was one of my first books that I read, that I read in English. And it's about uh, a police investigation that a woman does since her friend is missing. So it was really well written. And I didn't have much problems of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's, you know, a field that I don't necessarily study. Um you know, I'm not a specialist in investigations, but I guess uh, you, you are, but <laughs> you watch so many Netflix series about that. I, I think yeah. you can do the job. <laughs> yeah, but it was really cool and I enjoyed it. Okay. Also, yes. sorry, I've, I forgot to say that you need 200 milliliters of milk for the recipe. <laughs> Because I was like, okay, you need milk, you need that, but I didn't, yeah, but, you know. Uh, well, well, yeah. So, yeah. I think, you know, milk, you can just... I don't actually measure it. Yeah. So, I just, you know, I do my thing. <laughs> like, like everything I do. <laughs> I don't yes. measure anything. So, yeah. If you have anything to say, guys, please send us messages. Do not be afraid to do that because we'd be very happy to yeah. read your messages sure and yeah we're gonna end this episode if you have yeah if the you're first okay with one, that yeah the first one of a long type of episodes yeah i hope you liked this format because i don't know we liked it so yeah just show sharing. time yeah it's just sharing music netflix and everything we like yeah that's that's cool it changed a little bit from the the usual thing. So yeah. Mm. Anyway, guys, bye bye, and see <laughs> you soon. Bye and take care. Yeah.